Hey guys, during my performance testing career, I have seen many people make certain common mistakes. As many of you know, performance testing activities are broadly divided into four main phases which are planning, design, execution and analysis. In this video, we will briefly discuss the common mistakes in the planning phase. Let's get started. No questioning mindset. Many people have this incorrect mindset when they think that performance testing means just mastering one or two popular tools and simulating load to report transaction response times. They sometimes blindly follow the instructions of their leads or the previous release requirements. They will make a lot of assumptions of their requirements without asking any questions. The problem is that they feel insecure about asking questions because they fear that it shows their expertise to be poor. No proactive approach. Oftentimes, performance testers schedule the performance testing towards end of the development life cycle. Waiting until the later stages of development to conduct performance testing can lead to costly rework and delays. For example, if any performance testing bottlenecks identified, the development teams may not have enough time to develop and deliver the fix. So, performance testing should be integrated into development lifecycle from the early stages to identify and address performance issues as early as possible. No clear performance testing objectives. Without well-defined performance objectives, it becomes difficult to measure and evaluate the system performance accurately. So, Testers should establish clear goals during the planning phase. Some of the common goals are Measure the system responsiveness under different load conditions Measure the system capacity to handle specific volume of transactions or requests over a given period of time Measure the system stability, reliability and scalability by simulating sustained load to extended periods Measure the system performance with the increased load No test environment validation Many performance testers often overlook the importance of environment validation in their testing efforts. This includes validating the difference between the testing and production environment in terms of capacity and configuration. It is very crucial to keep track of the changes being promoted to the test environment and also the impact of those changes. It also involves ensuring the tested code version aligns with the final version to be deployed in production. Neglecting to validate the differences between the testing environment and production environment can lead to inaccurate test results and performance issues in the live system. Incorrect workload modeling. Many testers solely rely on workloads defined in the past releases or outdated non-functional requirements without fully understanding their importance. This often leads to a limited understanding of workload modeling. They don't have good understanding of real user behavior and the application usage patterns. Even the application is in production, they fail to study and validate the workloads against the production metrics. Little's law is the fundamental concept for workload modeling. Unfortunately, many testers are not using this concept while validating the workload requirements. Limited test types coverage plan. There is a common misconception that conducting peak load and endurance tests alone is sufficient for a project or a release. However, this limited approach fails to account for the real user patterns and may not recommend the appropriate test types to accurately assess the application performance. By solely focusing on peak load testing, testers may overlook the crucial aspects of performance that arise from real-world user behavior. It is essential to understand how users interact with the application, the typical usage pattern and the specific scenarios that affect performance. By avoiding these common mistakes, performance testers can improve the effectiveness of their planning phase. Thanks for watching. For more updates and similar content, please subscribe and stay tuned.